So here's the stock all roughed out. I've got all of my contours in that I want. Now what we're going to need to do is drill these two holes and then drill two holes for the trigger mechanism. Well, the trigger mechanism we're going to be doing is really simple. It's basically going to be a lever like this and it's going to be thumb operated. So when you push down with your thumb the lever is going, the lever is going to rock and push the string over two dowels that we place in here. So the first thing we're going to do is drill these two holes and I'm going to be using a 3 8 inch drill bit. So here I have the stock and this is where I'm going to be drilling my first two holes. Now to make sure that my holes are lined up I'm just going to be using this. It's just a square made from two pieces of one by two. That way if I line up along the one by twos as I'm drilling this hole will go straight through as opposed to going crooked. So here we go. So there's the first hole, now for the second. Here's the second hole. So here they are. Now I just need to drill the holes for the trigger. Okay, so now I'm going to be drilling the holes for my posts. I'm going to be drilling an inch deep. So I've gone ahead and I've taped this off. So this portion here is one inch. So here we go. Yeah, so there's the first one. I'm just going to be drilling the second. Here they are. So the posts are going to go right here. And the string is going to sit right behind that. So here are those. Here are these. Now we're going to be cutting our dowels to make these posts and these posts. I've got four dowels here. These are 3 8 inch dowels that I cut down. These are 4 inches long each and these are 2 inches long. These will become part of the trigger mechanism and these will help hold the uh, cross bolt prod onto the tip. So these longer ones, without any glue, we're basically just going to drive them into these holes we made. We just want to press them in and they should be really snug. 
You just want to press them in until they're even on both sides. So you may need to use a mallet to uh, lightly adjust it, but basically, once you've got them in equally on both sides, then we can move on. This is basically going to give an area for our wraps to hold onto the prod. You can see. So I'm going to go ahead and drive the other one in as well. Alright, so I've got these put into place. Now I'm going to be inserting these two pegs. I'm going to be gluing them in with some hot milk glue, so here we go. So I'm going to heat up this first one. And then just drive it in until it seats at the bottom. And do the same with the other one. Now I'm just going to take away the excess glue, just clean it up real quick. Here it is. Now we're going to work on the rest of the trigger assembly here. 